All right, after stopping to fish a flock of birds that were over ladyfish, Dustin Jones and I have made it to a line of rocks here in Southeast Louisiana that typically hold a lot of fish in the summertime. We'll see if they got some today. I'm starting with this SB57 lavender shad. You know, it's been a hot bait for me lately. Really, really like it. And typically these rocks hold redfish, bass, flounder, some juvenile speckled trout, and some years are a lot better than others. I haven't made a trip here yet this year. It's the first one, so we'll see if there's some here right now. Typically the bass here are not very big at all. They're all dinks, but you can have some fantastic action in between the reds and flounder and everything else. Yeah, it's not bad, you're right. I'll take this. Fishing in the summer, not sweating, buckshot. So what you have is an Echo 1.75. It doesn't dive as deep as this one. I'd rather have that. I just happen to have this tied on. This one dives four to six feet. That one dives really two to three. So like when you're right up close to the rocks, you might have to hold your rod up and, and twitch it. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't straight, straight, oh shoot. I wouldn't straight retrieve it, I'd twitch it. Now don't you start raining again. What you got there, D? Bass. That's a bass. It's a start. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, we got us a double dozen. They're not big. Not big at all. <laughs> right. I had one follow me out right before that. Another hit? We got three hits right in the same area. There you go. All right, dude. Swim away. Right here is what's called a Dupree Lock near Violet. And we've got a hard rising tide going into this. Hoping that tide switches. If it does, we'll probably scoot into the marsh. Let's we'll see what we can catch there. But it's roaring right now. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, he threw it. That was a nice pass. He done throwed it. <laughs> Got him. I figure there might be a few fish right there. Oh, is it a red? No way. All right, let me get the net. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, big flounder. Nice. Don't flip him because they always get off. Ready? No, don't flip him. All right, we got him. Uh, I'm eating. Nice. I'm eating tonight. That's, a, that's <laughs> the biggest flounder ever caught. Yeah, that's a, that's a beast. That's a great flounder. We definitely got to get your picture. Good job, bro. Fish of the day right there. All right, so that was Dustin's biggest flounder ever. Dustin, if you remember, if you've seen him in previous Marshman Mass on videos, is from Ohio. He married my niece and moved down here and now loves to fish. That's awesome, man. It's a good fish. Yeah. All right, time check is 612. Sunset right now is around 810, something like that. So we only got a couple hours to fish. We got a long run back. So Dustin and I have scooted into the marsh, even though this tide's still rising. It's gonna rise stubbornly, it seems. Fortunately, this water looks really good. I've switched from my SP57 to a Holy Jolie Matrix Shad on a quarter ounce death grip. See if I can fish it with this grass situation. Dustin, what'd you throw on a spinner? Yeah, I don't know how long it's going. All right. Dustin's throwing a gold spinner. Oh, there we go, Dustin. There's a red. I did not get a good hook set at all. I will in a minute. I did not get a good hook set. We'll see if we get him. Get out of my trolling motor. <sighs> this fish is going crazy. <laughs> you don't want to be brought in yet. It's a good red. It's a good eater red. Mm -hmm. I'm all right, you got him. Dustin was wanting a redfish to eat. Now he's got it. That's all I want though, for the day. That's all you want is the flounder? You want flounder this? Flounder and a red. Okay, perfect. There you go. Two good dinners. There you go. That's a good eater red. Yeah. That's the size you want. Whew. Anyway. Might as well have one more fish. He was not hooked well. 
Dustin said when he came out here today, he wanted a redfish to eat. So there we go, we got him as red. And he's also got a flounder. <laughs> He'll have two great meals. Now I told Dustin about a video I did a few years ago on how to debone and stuff a flounder. If you haven't seen it, I'll link to it here. Flounder is definitely making a comeback in South Louisiana, a really strong comeback. I've literally caught more this year than I caught in the previous 10. So if you bump into a flounder, you definitely want to check out that video. It's absolutely the best thing to do with a flounder. So we up the four species. Let's see, we got bass, redfish, flounder. You counting ladyfish? <laughs> well, all along here, you got matted grass beds, but the water's so high because we're at the peak of high tide, you could really throw it over them. Let me see if I can get a blow up on this. Oh. I don't know what it was. Probably a bass. Oh, oh. Come on. He made two attempts at it. He just didn't get it. Oh, you dirty dog. He went right after you. Oh, missed him again. No, I'm talking about just setting up a good Oh, yeah, definitely the beetle spin. Oh, I missed him. Get him, Dustin. What you got, a red? Oh, nice bass. There we go. Good fish. On a spinner. Pretty fish. Not in size, but in color. The bugs are coming. Yeah, deer flies are gonna eat us alive when we're picking up that boat. Horse deer flies. You like a horse fly? uh, they're a lot smaller and they're triangular. They're shaped like a triangle. You'll see them, believe me. Oh, I think that's what's around my head. <laughs> yep, yeah, and they, they're relentless. They won't leave you alone. You have to kill it. I don't think it'd be a bad idea. Do you fish it steady or you twitch it? That's about five hits on this frog, no connections. Oh goodness, you got him? <laughs> Dustin made the switch to a whopper plopper. Look at that bass. That's right where I got that blow up. That's awesome. He smacked it. I missed a fish right here on a frog on the way in. Dustin threw that whopper plopper there on the way out and got smacked. So this is something I love to do late on summer days, throw these pop bars for bass and redfish in these marshes. Now it works way better on a falling tide. Right now we've got a rising tide. This tide's not gonna switch till after dark, but hopefully it'll produce a few fish. Ooh, oh, no. goodness. I, heard it. I don't know what it is. It might be a red. No, it's a bass. Like goodness, did he smoke it? It's not even that big. <laughs> All right. Sorry about, sorry about. Not bad. On the pop bar. Well, TWP, H2O Express. All right. Catch and release today. Get out of here, go see Dustin again. I got some bug spray that works well on these deer flies. Ah, that's, def that's definitely what it is. All right, Dustin and I are getting attacked by deer flies. That's really the pitfall of fishing these top water baits late in the day in the summer. But I've got some of this Skeeter Hawk, which worked well for me last time. So we're gonna try that again. Skeeter it's called Skeeter Hawk. You want it on your head? Uh, yeah, let me get a little bit on my hands. Thank you. What? See, it doesn't smell half bad, huh? Doesn't smell like normal bug spray. I enjoy the smell. Yeah, it smells nice, yep. 
you won't get home smelling like you've been fishing. Yeah. No, I mean, it was way out. Now, I don't know if he followed me. He probably did, because it was deep water right here. Not a big fish, but man, he clocked it. You know, I'm gonna have to put you down. He's gonna put a hook in my hand if I don't. Oh, my leg. All right. Okay, one hook. Let's get the other one. Man, dude, you, you are not gonna get away. Why can't the five pounders get hooked like this? There you go, bud. Get out there and grow. You can see how low that sun is on the horizon. It's going behind a cloud, but it'll be below the horizon in about 10 or 15 minutes. There we go. Oh, you got him? <laughs> oh. oh, he threw it. <laughs> you gonna let him go anyway. You got the fun part. You got a bite? Oh, he missed it. I felt him. Make a cast way back in there. I've got a ton of fish in this cut. Well, kind of, kind of all over. Ooh. There he is. <laughs> Get him, DJ. Oh, nice bass. Beautiful that. bass. I'm a spot lock. So we could probably sit here and catch a bunch. No, oh, it's just it just is. It's just nothing like it. All right, Dustin and I are gonna fish our way out of here. It's almost dark, as you can tell. Beautiful sunset over this way. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Come on, one more blow up. Just one. <laughs>